Good morning and welcome to WFMS. We're getting the news out to you. Franklin Middle School students, staff, families. Who's got it better than Franklin Middle School? Nobody. That's right. Nobody has it better. And today is Friday, October 2nd. We are in the middle of first quarter. We are getting into the swing of things. We are getting into routines. And uh, today being a Friday, B-Day students, it's your synchronous day. You'll be Zooming with your teachers. And A-Day students, it's an asynchronous day, and you'll be getting on your teacher's Canvas pages. Actually, everybody will be getting on their teacher's Canvas pages and checking in and finding that Zoom link if you are synchronous. And if you're asynchronous, we're finding that attendance button and finding what work we'll be doing independently. Love the backdrop. We've got the Falcon flying in front of a fall night. There's a moon, and we've kind of switched gears. It's fall. Today's welcoming ritual, today's welcoming ritual, what two words would you use to describe your week? Think about that for a second. Mine, I'm trying to think here. Very productive, there's two words. Somewhat fulfilling. There's two more words. So what words would you describe? Two words would you use to describe your week? Hopefully you had a great week. All right, students, take a look. If you've got resource, band, PE, choir, and eighth grade AVID, or any of those, this is going to be the even and odd day elective meeting times. So take a look. It's based off of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even day and odd day when you're gonna be Zooming, and when it's gonna be independent. So this might be one you wanna take a screenshot of. This might be one that you wanna write down next to any schedule, next to your laptop that you're using to remind you of where you go if you have an even odd day elective. And those are the students in resource, band, PE, choir, and eighth grade AVID. Here's a familiar slide. Friday, sixth grade, take a look. Take a look. We want you to go to all of your Canvas pages at these prescribed times. Seventh grade, take a look. Here we are. It's Friday, and we're going to our Canvas pages at each of these periods at the prescribed time. And finally, eighth grade, take a look. We've got some familiarity here. We've got students going to these classes, their Canvas pages at these prescribed times. All right. Well, we've been talking about it, and the October 1st date has come and gone, and we are still taking those physicals. So attention all sixth graders and new students in District 186, we need those records. We've robo-called it, we've robo-texted it, we've robo-emailed it, we've snail-mailed it, we've been doing this reminder, we've personally phone-called. So please, 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 if you have those, get those in. I know parents, we're very appreciative if you've got that appointment, communicating that appointment to us, letting us know, that it's scheduled and uh, students, you can remind your parent if they have that, if it's sitting on a countertop, if it's in a car, got it in a folder, get that into our office. You can email it to me or Nurse Susan. Give us a call, 217-787-3006. You have questions about your school physical. And this banner is on our school website. It tells us that due date is October 1st. We're still taking them. But if you click on that banner, it gives you information about physicals and immunizations, including make an appointment with your physician if you've not already done so. So click on the banner for any information you may need about physicals and immunizations. All right, this is really cool. This is something to support District 186. And we would like to join the Springfield Public School Foundation it's gonna be at Barnes & Noble for a book fair that benefits District 186 school libraries. It's gonna be next Saturday and Sunday, October 10th and 11th. It's gonna go from 10 to eight on Saturday and 11 to six on Sunday. And if you buy books at Barnes & Noble, that's off West Veterans, pardon me, South Veterans, on Saturday, October 10th, or Sunday, October 11th, proceeds will go to the 33 school libraries across District 186. So we'll be promoting this. Hold off on buying those books. Don't buy them on Amazon. Go to Barnes & Noble if you can. Buy those books at those dates and times, and uh, that'll benefit District 186 libraries. Pretty cool. All right, math counts. 
Are you interested in math? Math Counts is starting very, very soon. Come join the team. They will be competing against other middle schools at a regional competition, and there may even be, hopefully, a state competition. Last year, we went to state. The students on Math Counts had a good time, a lot of fun. And if you're interested, you can see Mrs. McDonald, and she can be uh, reached at cmcdonald at sps186.org. All right, Hispanic Heritage Month. It's September 15th through October 15th. We've got a couple of facts. Fact, Octavio Larazolo, Larazolo was the first Hispanic woman U.S. Senator. And fact, Joseph Marion Hernandez was the first Hispanic member of U.S. Congress in 1822. Some interesting information with and about Hispanic heritage. Cross country news, we've got our results in from the September 30th meet. Top seven girls, Ainsley, Macklin, Kazaya, Phoebe, Charlotte, Simone, and Lucy. PRs were had by Gianna, Yasmina, Ainsley, Macklin, Amelia, Jane, Charlotte, and Kazaya. The boys were led by Gabe, Alex, Christian, Jude P, Simon, Nathan, and Jeffrey. And PR by the boys were Sam, Gabe, Nathan, Eli, and Stanley. Uh, it doesn't get any better. This weather is perfect for running. Uh, PRs are to be had. And our next cross-country meet is going to be Tuesday against Jacksonville, Je uh, Jefferson, Lincoln Middle School, and Riverton Junior High. So good job, Coach Phillips. Good job to our cross-country runners. I know they're working hard. We've got a Scholastic Bowl question of the day. Yesterday, we talked about conduction. Today, name the type of heat transfer in this situation. The air around the sides of a campfire gets warm. That's why you stand around a campfire to gain warmth, maybe to cook. We talked yesterday about a weenie roast. We talked yesterday about s'mores. But the air around the sides of a campfire, what type of heat transfer is that situation? We'll have that information coming up. All right, I have not been doing very well at these lately. What is the message for this visual word puzzle? Plus, plus, plus next to plus, 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 side pluses, best friend pluses, I don't know, broken field goal posts, I don't know. Uh, all right, we'll have the answer soon. It's disappointing again, can't get it, doggone it. All right, hey, here's another word of the day. We've had concoction, we've had commotion, and this one is contortion. It's a very good word to have during Halloween. A tortuous and twisted shape or position. Contortion. There was tumbling human pyramids and bodies stretched into extraordinary contortions. You may have heard of a contortionist. That's somebody in a circus that can contort and twist and make their body go and weird, strange directions that I'm not able to. So contortion, tortuous and twisted shape or position. It's a good Halloween season word, I like it. All right, in our bad pun, which I normally don't like, I like good jokes, not bad jokes and puns. So let's see what we have here today. Lance is a pretty uncommon name these days, but in medieval times, people were named Lance a lot. But um bum bum Nope, not funny. Moving on. Hey, and on this day in history, 1967, Thurgood Marshall was sworn in as the first black Supreme Court Justice. All right. We've got some birthdays. We want to say happy birthday to Chloe Davis. Happy birthday to Caitlin Lynch. Happy birthday to Ariel Robinson. Happy birthday Saturday to Christopher Hull. Saturday birthday for Travis Sims. Saturday birthday for Mariah Worker. Sunday birthday for Shelby Harmon. And another Sunday birthday for George Wilson. Happy birthday from me to you. And uh, we hope you have a great birthday. Take a look at that forecast. Yep, it's fall, Friday night, gonna be beautiful. Saturday might have a little rain. Sunday, a little overcast. So we've got a little bit of everything. Those temperatures are, are only going to hit 60. That's hoodie and sweatshirt and flannels and jeans and boots. 
and lots of other fall things. I'm sure some people really enjoy pumpkin spice stuff as well. Not my cup of tea. Take a look at those answers. Fires, like the one pictured, the type of heat is radiation. And the brain teaser, couldn't get that one. Not feeling it today on a consecutive streak of not getting it right. That was double cross. I was looking at it as plus signs, not crosses. Somebody needs to help me with these. These are too hard. I shall overcome and show grit and go at it again tomorrow. So as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Franklin Middle School. Oh, here we go. This is something we really like at this time of year, actually all times of year. Uh, Miss Mariotti and Miss Giacchino like to put things on the screen. And of course, we know about our falcon, which I've just covered up. We'll uncover him. And what do we have here? We've got a little squirrel with a little acorn. Talking to that squirrel, that's kind of fun or silly. Um, so Franklin Middle School staff and students, we want to have a great day. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, write, and respond at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus. Good morning, Falcons. I am here to show you a second breathing technique that you may find helpful if you are ever feeling stressed out or anxious. If you recall, we learned about box breathing, also known as square breathing before, and that is just one of many breathing techniques that you can use. I wanna show you several, so you can choose which one works best for you at the time. Um, the box breathing is still linked to our Franklin Middle School webpage and is still available to use, but I would like to show you rainbow breathing today. Rainbow breathing is neat because it incorporates a little bit of body movement in with your breaths. So let's learn about rainbow breathing together. We can use our bodies to change how we feel. This exercise will teach you how to raise your energy and face your day. Close your eyes or keep them open. Have fun with it. Sit tall. You can be on the ground with your legs crossed or sitting at the front edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Let your arms hang down at your sides. Open and close your hands a couple times to warm up your body. All right, so I hope that um, you found yourself a little bit more relaxed after trying that. Um, again, like anything else, it takes practice to kind of slow yourself down and, and focus on your breathing. Um, and it takes daily practice. So rainbow breathing is just another breath breathing technique in your toolbox. So I encourage you to um, give that a try throughout your days. Remember, this is not just for students. This is for adults, parents, caregivers, teachers, everyone out there. Um, taking some time to be mindful of your breathing and kind of slowing down is really good for us. So have a good day.